Okay, hey, what is going on guys? Ali here back again with another video for you guys today for another review for you guys for Day to Live season four. And this one is, you know, episode five and six because I wasn't able to make a review um, from last week because I was out doing something that day, work and stuff, frustrating, annoying, but I'm here with my reviews for, or my full review for episode five and six, but episode five, I'm going to, you know, first, I'm going to talk about episode five, um, and I'm, I'm mostly going to, I'm, I'm not going to have it, like, very long for my review of episode five, because, you know, obviously, you know, uh, it, it was more of, like, a fun, uh, type of, like, not necessarily exactly fun, because they have to get out of Beelzebub, because of, like, the, that big fantasy world that, that, he, he, Westcott pretty much trapped them all in and stuff, um, so they still have to, like, escape that and everything, but it was overall, like, a, a very, like, you know, I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna talk about the episode, or, like, uh, my review is gonna be kind of quick for episode five. First of all, hilarious, with all, with all of the, uh, with all of the spirits and whatnot being trapped in there, along with Shido and everything, the whole thing was funny, right? Everybody, and something that I loved about the episode was that, like, all, all of the fairy tales that everybody is stuck, like, with, like, all the fairy tales and stuff, none of them go the way that the fairy tale goes, right? So, right here, you got, I, I have everything, like, written down and whatnot. You got Miku, who is, who's the little mermaid, which, like, first of all, Miku and, and Natsumi, best looking ones, the babes absolute babes and everything, I loved it so much, but, like, her being the little mermaid, Miku being the little mermaid, was so funny, because, like, she, uh, like, a, a witch or whatever came up to her and asked that, like, like, uh, you can have your feet again if you, uh, give me your voice, and what was funny was Miku just slapped her and ran away, it's like, no, I'm not giving you my voice and stuff, which is the opposite of what the Little Mermaid, like, what happened with the Little Mermaid, which was hilarious, and then you got Natsumi, who's Cinderella, and everything, trying to woo those soldiers for them to go into the castle, which was really funny, and it didn't, go, it didn't turn out the way that she wanted, because she went back into her little, her little kitty, like, you know, Cinderella-like form, hilarious stuff, and then you got Kotori, who's the little match girl, and she looked so cute. And something that, that Kage and Yuzuru, were, they were so, f what was so funny was that they were able to, like, help, like, wake her up by saying Shido. Like, Shido, get over here and stuff. Like, her, she twitched. And I, like, it's so cute how much she loves her older brother and everything and how Yuzuru and, and Kage and Yuzuru know this. And they, they use it to their advantage and stuff. And it's like the cutest freaking thing on the planet. And I love it so much. So then she wakes up. And then you got Yoshino in the beginning. Which, obviously, she's the most adorable little being on the planet. Yoshino wearing the little red riding hood outfit. And every it's so freaking cute. And then you got Shido wearing a pig outfit. Like, he's part of the three little pigs, um, like, story and whatnot. Yoshino's part of the Red Riding Hood. Uh, Kotori's part of the little match girl, uh, story. And then, you know, Natsumi, Cinderella, Miku is, uh, the little mermaid. Everything, everything about it was just, it was just adorable. It was so cute and normal and, and, and funny also. And then you got, uh, obviously Shido, and then Toka has, has the, uh, has the traditional, a traditional Japanese folklore story, the Momotaro story, and everything, like, I, I love that, I love that, because that's just, a, that's just what she is, she's just a sword fighter, she had, a, she had the samurai sword and everything, I loved it so much, and, like, everything that she had and whatnot, and something that was hilarious was Nia, is her own character from her own story from Silver Bullet. She's uh, Fatima or whatever. Like that was so funny. And in the beginning, when 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 Nia and and Toka came in to help Shido and Yoshino, um, like fighting the uh, the 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 the, we the wolf or whatever that was like disguised as a Granny, you know, from the Little Riding Hood and everything. I loved it. Like it was so funny. She shot up the 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 wolf. And then, and then Toka, because Nia told her, told Toka, take out the dumpling and throw it at the, and throw it at the, where, at the wolf. And then everything was perfectly fine. Hilarious stuff. The whole episode was great 
And then you got Kaga and Yuzuru being Hansel and Gretel. Like, uh, that, that was so funny. Another story where it doesn't go the way that the fairy tale was supposed to go. That she, they were eating the house. And then the granny was trying to talk to them, but they were ignoring, but they were ignoring her. And then the granny started chasing them. And they were like screaming and running and stuff. Like, the, the imagery that they showed, like the still shots of Kaga and Yuzuru, like, sitting there eating and stuff and then running away from the granny was absolutely hilarious and i loved every single minute of that like it was so funny to me and then the user akaya like talking about like oh she peed herself like kagi peed herself and everything like like she was crying and screaming and stuff and like like it was so funny the banter was hilarious all of that stuff was funny and then you got you know uh then you got miku as the Little Mermaid stuff, trapped in the castle and everything, they're all trying to get into the castle. Like, Kotori does something smart where she, like, like lights the match. And, you know, when she lights the match, just like the little the little match girl or whatever, like, it makes, like, illusions or imagery of, like, you know, illusions and stuff like that. So they, so they made it look like they were all dressed up in, like, proper attire. They got into the castle. And then who is the emperor? Origami straight up nude with uh, with a cape but like straight up nude she didn't realize what was going on it turns out that she is part of the emperor's new clothes story and whatnot and like these these wandering uh tailors and stuff like took her clothes and stuff. like that shit was so funny like it was so good it was it was hilarious like uh, and, and then origami realized it at the end like oh my gosh and and what was funny was that like people who don't like who have like no love or like without love for Shido and stuff can't see the this is what like origami said that like they can't see the the clothings and stuff like that and then toka kept and then toka tried to be like oh uh i i can see the clothes the skin the skin colored like clothes and stuff. like that whole sequence was absolutely hilarious and phenomenal and stuff and i loved it so much and like it was so good it was so funny adorable and cute and whatnot and them trying to get out and what and everything and then like shido like uh because it's uh bills about creating its own like fairy big fairy tale story to trap them in there like it turns out that shido from the manga that they created was actually in there and all of those like monsters and whatnot trying to fight like uh like trying to attack all shido and the gang because all of them they don't have their 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 uh angels and whatnot like them being attacked and everything and then who comes in shido from their manga and like because he is from a manga from the story he's able to use the angels for shido and for the other spirits so that they can escape and everything which was great and stuff and something really quick that i thought was really funny too was nia she was hilarious in the in in this episode being that like oh in in part two a monster gets revived in my story and everything that's why this giant monster could like pops up she's like part two it gets revived part three it get it gets stronger in part three and everything like it was so, it was so funny and then the whole like spiel or the like the the quick um you know uh like dialogue that uh shido talked to himself about like the manga shido talked to him about that like True, maybe that, like, you know, because Shido keeps ta keeps thinking about what Mukuro said, that, like, I'm tired of the hypocrisy and whatnot, that I don't, like, like, you wanting to help them, what's it gonna do? That's gonna put them in danger, too, you know? Like, you're, like, it's calling Shido, like, hip like, calling out his hypocrisy and stuff, and he's like, you know what, yeah, but I'm still, I still want to save Mukuro anyways, we still want to save her anyways and whatnot, um, because, like, something that, that the, uh, manga Shido was talking about, that, like, she closed her heart off for a reason, something happened, she had to have been sad or something, like, something needed, probably, most likely, it had, it had to have happened, and we gotta find out what it was, and so, like, you know, he had, like, a newfound resolve, which was great, and, and, like, Shido having a newfound resolve was great, so then he was able to escape with all the other, like, spirits and whatnot, and that is how, the episode five ends now episode six. Oh, and also something i thought that was like really great or for like was really surprising was that like you know when fraxness was being attacked by dem industries these guys coming in to fight them and whatnot i thought like it was really 
it was really funny to where I believe, uh, I believe, what's her name? The guy who has like the dolls and the girl who has like the voodoo dolls, Nakatsu, Nakatsuaga and Shiz Shizuki. Like, bro, like she, she has actual legitimate voodoo doll powers. That was terrifying. She was, I, th I genuinely thought she was going to actually rip that dude's arm off when she used her voodoo magic and, and stuff. That was like, in, that was insane. And then the other guy who like, you know, with his doll's head got blown off and he got pissed off and just attacked that dude. I thought it was really funny. But yeah, anyways, episode six. <laughs> and I know what you're probably thinking right now. Why did he change spots? Well, I have to, I had to go somewhere and everything. But to continue this review, episode six, beautiful. Like seeing like just the fight between like, you know, Shido and uh, Shido and Toka fighting or fighting Mukuro and whatever, or like trying to get her to like, you know, open up. And he finally got to open her up. And like Mukuro is just, she's adorable. She's adorable. Episode six was just great. We we got to see like, you know, more of like the Fraxness, like Excalibur and everything. And like just the, the new stuff that, you know, the AI Maria has like in it and everything and seeing it fight. Uh, I believe it was called the, the what is it called? The Goshi, G Gotia or whatever that was that, that Ellen was was piloting and everything. Oh, like that, bro. That was amazing. Like, I love this series in that like it doesn't just pull from things like you know religion of like you know angels and demons and and spirits and stuff but also like mythology too because like you know uh uh Ratatasker, like the the fraxness excalibur used i believe it i i, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it but it's like you drazil uh you it's like y g g r a s i l or something like that and like i'm pretty sure that that is from norse norse myth norse mythology of like the the tree of the tree of life or something like that that connects like worlds and, and whatnot um and like just to see that also being implemented in this series and stuff is really freaking cool and first of all the beginning of this episode when when elliot and and uh, Isaac, face to face, bro. And 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 Isaac, I had no, I bro. At the end of this episode, you could clearly tell that Elliot beat Isaac's ass. Oh my, like, uh, bro, that was so cool. See that? Like, uh, oh, uh, and he's saying that, like, oh, we we finally talked after such a long time, like. Uh, Isaac was saying this to Elliot, to, uh, to Ellen at the end and everything, and Ellen, you know, finally questioned him, like, why didn't you, um, why didn't you tell me that you were, you infiltrated, like, Rattatasker and stuff, and, and, and came face to face with Ellie and stuff, and, and Isaac's saying that, like, you, if you were there, you would have, you would have immediately went to kill him, or immediately killed him, so that was, like, very interesting to hear about, like, what, what's up there with Ellen and, uh, and, and, and Elliot that she would immediately want to kill him. I, I mean, uh, maybe, maybe like, you know, she, Ellen thinks that Elliot manipulated her little sister to go with uh, him for Elliot to, for her to go with Elliot. And Ellen is pissed off at that. And, and she hates him for it or something like that. Maybe, I don't know. But like episode six, the, it was fantastic. I loved it. The the whole fight with with uh, again with with Mukuro, which was really cool. Which something that was so awesome during that fight. First of all, the fight was great. But what was awesome about it? Awesome about it was that like I believe at first the well no actually I don't think it was because the entire time I'm pretty sure that that was Natsumi disguised as Shido fighting Mukuro with the key. Oh wait, no, no, was it? I don't, I don't, I don't know, but anyways, Natsumi was in that fight with Toka and Shido, you know, fighting Mukuro, and she trans, she was transformed as Shido, using her angel to create Mukuro's angel, to create Michael's, like, Michael, and they were all, and they were just fighting with portals and shit, and like, that shit was awesome, was fantastic, the fight with, like, uh, with, with Origami and, and Ashcroft was just awesome. I love, 
I love that she was able to, like, you know, not only, uh, like, be able to use the uh, emergency, like, you know, armor, like, magic, like, armor and stuff that Coltery gave her, kind of like a, a new, like, uh, a, a new, a new armor and stuff, to, like, Coltery telling, like, Origami, you can try it out while you're fighting Ashcroft and, and whatnot, it was so good, it was fantastic, like, uh, man, the episode was so, and, and when she was fighting Ashcroft, like, this episode shows that, obviously, Ashcroft, 100%, 100%, brainwash or manipulate or something to where like you know origami's like why are you fighting with dem when you hate them what is going on there and like and so she's like holding her head like ashcroft like freaking out so you know something's up with her head um brainwash manipulate a chip in her head that's making her do this stuff or I, who knows but like that whole fight was awesome not only because like origami in her in that new like battle armor and stuff but she combined it because ashcroft is obviously better than origami as as like a wizard and that's what origami said to like you are definitely stronger than me as a wizard but then origami combi combines her spirit powder uh, spirit powers with the magic uh armor that she's wearing and stuff to fight ashcroft oh my gosh it was amazing it was amazing and just to see like uh like the the uh retasker or the fractionist excalibur fighting like you know Kotori and Ellen fighting each other was just awesome. Kotori remembering that, like, in the, the previous timeline before it was changed, like, it was, like, Fraxness was, like, destroyed by Ellen and stuff, and for some reason, Ellen actually remembers that memory, but somebody, somebody 100% had to tell her, like, he obviously told her, or something, um, and that's what, like, Kotori is, like, thinking about, like, why does she, why does she know about the other timeline like what's going on there what's going on with culture and everything so that was that was not going on with culture but like that was very interesting that maybe somebody behind the scenes is actually telling people like what's going maybe maybe isaac actually knows i who knows isaac might know he might not know who is the one that's telling these people the behind maybe somebody's telling them behind their backs saying that like the timeline has changed or something because there's there's no other way that Ellen would know about you know what's going on and so like that whole sequence of like Coltery and Ellen fighting each other was amazing I love the CGI of these giant ships because like CGI is best when it's like giant battleships or, or anything like that I feel like that's when CGI itself is the best that it ever is with like you know anime in general obviously there's a lot of cgi that's phenomenal and fantastic and amazing with like animation wise with like organic creatures and stuff um but specifically like these giant spaceships and stuff like oh amazing it was fantastic like and 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 culture is like uh, uh what's awesome about like maria the ai and and like the the fraxis excalibur uh, uh excelsior is it excalibur or excelsior i think it's excelsior but like what's cool about it is that it can easily it can keep up with the 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 what is it called Gotia or whatever Gotia that Ellen that Ellen was piloting and everything just to see that shit was just so cool and it's and it's and it's not only because of like the upgraded fraxness but like Kotori and and Ratatasker implemented a system in fraxness that helps use and utilizes spirits, magic, and power, the energy, and that's what, like, Miku, uh, 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 Yuzuru, Kaguya, or, Ka yeah, Kagura, Kaguya, and Yoshino use their powers along with Kotori to power the Fraxis so it can be able to, e to keep up with, like, Ellen's spacecraft, and that shit was awesome, I loved it, I loved everything about that. Again, I loved the fight with Shido and Toka versus Mukuro, uh, and actually Natsumi too. But like, at this, I love it how, like, Shido always is with Toka in this, in these, in these fights or in these like episodes, like from the the two weeks ago that last episode uh, with with Elliot talking about love happened. He even immediately talked about Toka, and then Toka is with him like fighting, uh, like uh, it's. 
and, and 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 the sequences of like the fighting and the animation is just so good it was so great and stuff and then like shido finally opening opening up mukuro's heart which was so oh my god she is such a sweet adorable little bean like the way she speaks and like just like the complete 180 flip of her like attitude and everything how it's like she's very like like she has such a bubbly type of personality but she also is still referring to herself in like third person like muku like muku and everything like it was so cute and and uh it, it really was it was so good it really was good i loved everything thing about it when he was able to finally open up her heart and everything and then like her at the end like why wouldn't i like open up my heart or like fall in a, like fall for somebody or like be grateful for somebody who you know did that for me like opened up my heart for me like helped me and everything and like you know it was good it was great and the fights were amazing the fights were awesome i loved everything about it i'm excited for next episode or next week it's it's gonna be good it's gonna be good uh, man and then at the end with like you know the, the, one, one last thing to talk about with this episode at the end when all, when all of them were in like the uh like the 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 little the little like man-made like hot spring in fraxness which like has has magic in it like mana in it for like to for shido to heal better like you know i got to say in that situation if i was shido i would be so pissed off if all of those girls ran in there to try to help me and stuff i would be severe like you know a lot of people would be like oh yeah a bunch of girls around you you're gonna be great with the shit that shido went through nah nah i would be hella annoyed like i would be immediately annoyed by all of that going on like i uh, just shido just woke up from like a dream that actually i mean she he saw like one of mukuro's uh memories of like she's she was like adopted and maybe that family was either abusive or they like they passed away or like they died like something happened where like they died and then maybe mukuro accidentally was the cause of it i i have no idea but that might be why she closed off her heart because like she doesn't want to feel that love again or she didn't want to feel that love again who who knows but uh but that whole dream made shido cry like waking up crying and everything and like it was sad stuff but again that's hot springs and like i'm an incident of like him trying to relax and then all those girls coming in i'm like i'd be like hell no girl get i'll be like get out please get out and so the ending the ending mukuro takes him away to to earth and and, and through a pro, uh, through a portal which was really funny um and it's really cute too and i'm excited to see where like next episode goes cuz it's uh it's obviously going to be a date like episode but also there's some like sh there's some stuff that's going to happen in the episode that i'm just like what like how like w why are they here like w like it's so I'm excited to see next episode. This episode was absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite of the season uh, so far. Um, but anyways, what did you guys think about what I said about the episode and everything? Things that I said about it and whatnot and season four in general so far? Leave down in the comments your thoughts and everything. Uh, your thoughts about what I said and, and whatnot about the episode. Like the video if you did. Like the video if you liked the episode. Like the video if you liked anything I had to say. Like the video if you liked me. And subscribe to the channel for more reviews, vlogs, unboxings, live reactions, and different discussion videos and things like that. So gentlemen, stay classy. Ladies, stay sexy. But most important, everybody, you guys stay a little nasty, all right? So peace and love. And I will see y'all later in the next video. Peace out. May the force be with you always. Plus, Ultra Latum Data Live has been on a winning streak. All of these episodes have been fan fantastic for season four but anyways i will see you guys next week with another review video for data live season four peace out and i'll see you guys later